Hey y'all, what's going on? So listen, I want to briefly introduce this video. Uh, who you're about to see is her la Her name is Stormy Rebel. I believe that's her name. So that's what it, that's what it is on Facebook. Uh, she also goes by Auntie Stormy. Um, she is very proud of her niece and nephew and they're out here in the prom dress and you know, these outfits with guns. And you know, it's, I ran across this and it's very difficult for me to really just give commentary to it like I really want to because again, you know, you get you get um, labeled as you're attacking and it's not really attacking, it's just, this looks really stupid, like to me. This is just me, this is my opinion, this is my thoughts, my commentary, whatever. Um, She's from she's from Duval County, right? She's from Duval County. She's up in northern Florida. And I believe these young kids are in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I don't know, y'all. Like, you know, I just, I didn't grow up like this. And it's it's really hard to see images like this where it's like you want to celebrate your own. You want to celebrate your own kind, your own people. But it's like when you see images like this, it just really bothers me. Because how do we celebrate how do we celebrate, you know, violence and guns and, you know, killing and, you know, because, you know, Memphis is known for the first 48. How do we celebrate these things? And it's like, you know, she's on this video that you're about to watch. She's on here talking about, you know, people being fat and all of this stuff and not looking like this and all out of shape and everything. It's just like, ma'am, seriously. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Anyways, y'all, y'all can watch this thing. Y'all look at the video. Y'all see the pictures for yourself. It is what it is. This is completely a hot mess. Uh, that's my thoughts. That's my opinions. You know, I'm not the world's finest, although I am fine. I'm not the only one though, but you know, I'm just like, it, it just comes to a point. It's just like, okay, this, this is not okay to be teaching our children stuff like this. Like, no, like this is not okay. I understand Memphis and Duval is like little rough areas. I, I, I'm from Memphis. You know, I'm, I'm born in West Memphis, Tur, Arkansas, and I lived in Memphis, grew up there. Then I moved around. But this right here, I, you, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry that I, I was just not raised like that. Anyways, but um, y'all give your thoughts, give your commentary, tell me what you think. Like the video, share the video, leave a comment down there. And make sure you subscribe, okay? Watch the video. Talk to you soon. Yeah, honey. Auntie Starla came up here, honey. You folks starting to post your children up on that timeline, honey, for prom. I advise you, honey. I don't know. That stuff don't look good. Honey, you hoes and children look a mess. Why you hoes and children so big? That don't make no sense, honey. You hoes children got arms this big, honey, bigger than this shoulder on this uh, sleeve right here on this here road. Honey, get your children out of that be so big. One thing, be born big bone. I ain't nothing wrong with that, honey. Be born plus size, stuff like that. But ain't no way, honey, all you folks up and down this time, now children's that big. Honey, the parent ought to have done something about that stuff when them children was younger. That stuff don't look good. Honey, your child ought not be in no high school, junior high school, honey. 15, 17 years old, honey, wearing a size 20 in pants. Something wrong with you. And I don't care what you say about it, honey, I'ma let you know. Stop putting them big grown people to the time I talk about prom. Them children, they 35 years old, how they would be and scratched out. Them children look older than everybody else. I don't understand that stuff. No, honey. Them children get that in that prom, honey, it's like a class reunion, honey, for 20 years. Yeah, honey, that don't look like no prom stuff. 
Like them children going back to visit side. They, they, them children look like the alumni. No, Holly, you don't have no children look like the big old wings at church's chicken. That don't make no sense, honey. All you hoes of children's being like that, honey, it's the upper body. You have me? Yeah, it's the upper body, honey. You hoes of children is big at the top, honey. And teach your way to teach your way to at the bottom. Honey, I don't know, honey. It don't look good. And you hoes of signs don't look good either, honey. You hoes to stop letting y'all teenage sons smoke their marijuana. Cause honey, you hold the size honey, look like they smoke a pike a day. Ain't nothing but this big honey, turned up to the side honey, almost came to see what they got on. No honey, why you, you hold the children look a mess. And that's just why right there, children are not the future no more honey. It's the old people, old people is the future, not the children. Cause you hold the children don't got a fighting chance. Huh, they don't. You hold, stop y'all sons smoking that marijuana. Honey, you hold sons head this big. Huh? You hold son's head so little, hard like beta juice. No. And why do you hoes got everybody got on green? Huh? What particular person have on a collar or something like that? Now they say, you know, every single, every single, every single person got that stuff on. Where'd you all get them dresses and stuff from? Cachets. You all ought to stop going to the JC Pins up there, get them prom dresses, get your children something from Shirley. Huh, you ought to have called Shirley, honey, got them dresses made, honey. You hoes is true. It's piped off in them JC Penny dresses, honey, and it don't look good. Honey, keep them pictures in your camera roll, honey. Get them printed out, honey, at the, up there at the Walgreens, something like that. And put it in the photo app. Nobody wants to see them big old grown people. Them people don't look like no kids. Them people is big. Yeah, man. Person gonna tell me something about, hey, that Wanda Hawkins. Person gonna tell me something about let my daughter bike show, stuff like that at an evening gown. You hoes children don't need to let nothing show. They need full coverage gowns. Huh? Them children, 15 years old, honey, huh? got 50 11 rolls in their bike and stuff like that. No, honey. You hoes children go straight from 2T, honey, all the way up to 2X. You hoes children skip every size in between. What the hell is you feeding them, honey? You hoes better stop letting these kids get up off that food truck, stuff like that. No, honey, you hold to get these kids a balanced, nutritious meal. Why are you hold children so big, honey? No, honey, they ain't gonna never be able to buy them no convertible stuff like that. Mm-mm, them kids don't look good. This the first prom, honey, I saw nobody look good. None of you hold this children, honey, I'm here to tell you the truth. Cause auntie see your children, honey, I didn't like, I don't do that stuff. One thing I never did, I don't do that stuff there, honey. If I comment something up on your picture or something like that, like your style, because I genuinely do. I don't do that sympathy stuff like that. I don't like no stuff that I don't like, you know. No, honey, them children look a pickle. And I don't know, honey, them children's got, them children's, mm-mm. You knew prom was coming all year long. Honey, you knew them children had to go to prom four years ago. You ought to been saving up something for something nice. See, them other people, them other people, they go get them Quisinella's dresses and stuff. They children look like brides on prom. Beautiful dresses, stuff like that. You hoes, children dresses look like, I don't know how, like somebody done sold some curtains together and put a seam up on it. Them cheap dresses, honey. Why y'all children don't want that to Met Gala? You hoes talk too much per cash shit, honey. Them children, I want like they come out the Met Gala, honey. Them children ought to have dresses that's so flamboyant and so nice because you hoes ain't got no car. You hoes don't pay no car, no nothing else, no rent, nothing else. You hoes don't never buy no food or nothing else. You all got food stamp and wick and hood. Why you hoes children can't let they come at the Mac Gala? No, honey, you hoes children let they come at the Magnolia. And it don't make no sense. No, honey, them cheap gals, do it again. You know, I hope parents next year, honey, put them children on a diet six months before prom. Ain't no way that person, any person know, honey, you get ready to have a, a scrambled event, you go diet. It don't matter if you, honey, you got to lose 20 pounds a minimum to do scrambled jobs. You don't go no prom the same way you look all year long, honey. That's just like going to a wedding. You know your wedding come up, honey. You got to do stuff, prepare for stuff like that. This is stuff you got to take pictures for forever and ever. Now, how the hell your child look the same way they look beginning of the school year? You old children is lazy because you old don't make them do nothing, don't encourage them to do nothing. Ain't no way y'all child supposed to be that looking like that at prom. You're supposed to look your best, honey, with a special occasion event once in a lifetime. 
It's going to promise once in a lifetime. You don't go to prom every every year. Prom is not privileged to every person. It's once in a lifetime occasion. You hold supposed to have hired your children some fitness trainers six months ago. You hold children supposed to be coming out looking like they're at the Miss America pageant for prom. But no, honey, you hold children coming out looking like some pageant pelagians. Like they just got the wheelchair or something, honey. Legs scrawny. Belly burnt, bulging over behind the shoulders, broad and wide, big up here, small at the top, at the bottom. You old children come at them dressed like a credible hoe. Stop putting them girls, don't put no girl on them. Don't put no waist train on them children. No high, they look a mess. And then you hold, like, your children get their makeup stuff done at the house. You had should have had all this stuff lined up six months ago. Huh? You hire you a fitness trainer, honey. You got all these people out here in Jacksonville, honey, that do fitness. You got body by brand, honey. You got the big booty twerking dude, honey. You got Ken out there, honey. You got all these personal fitness people out there in Jacksonville, honey. Why the hell is your child going to prom at 18 years old, 17 years old, 1,700 pounds? That's your fault. That's reflection on the parents. Because you're supposed to, when them children get out of school, take them up there to the personal trainer and get that stuff together. These children hide and go up into the prom hide ain't nothing but some diabetes, high blood pressure, talking children up there at the prom. Don't make no sense, hon, at all. It's a shame on you. Yeah, hon, go up there. Plenty of fits ain't nothing but $5. You could have did a, a penny and took a penny do membership, hon, to Jane first. Ain't no way all you all just children looking like some, I don't know how to build like Candyman going to prom. All this sprinkle stuff on, stuff like that. I don't care what you say. You know, stuff like that. Don't make no sense. You know. But ain't who, honey, they look a mess. I haven't seen one, not one yet, honey, look nice. And your sons, too. They look a mess. And how, and you all don't believe in spending no money. Spend the money. You all put your children need, what are you, $80 dress, a $50 boutique dress, stuff like that. Get your child a $1,000 dress. Where your child going to prom, honey, wearing that stuff? You know, your children going to prom looking like some bridesmaids. No, honey, your child ought to go to the prom looking like the bride. Honey, you old prudes are going to prom looking like Chucky bride, the bride of Chucky. That don't make no sense, them cheap dress them children got on. Dress so cheap, honey, it show every dick in their body. Children all did it and ate a bit out in the bike. Honey, them dresses should have been $1,000, max minimum. You could have went better to Shirley. Honey, ain't got a dress, honey. You always know your children big at the top and look at the bottom. You supposed to got them a gown, honey, that, that go wider at the bottom. You know your child built like a hot, built like a pickle egg. You know, a hot sauce and stuff like that. You always know your, your child built like neck bones. You, your child big, big, built like that, honey. You go get a gown, honey, that fit at the top, corset style gown. That way it hold that child in, honey. And then you go get the and then make sure the gown poof out at the bottom, come out at the bottom. Give that child the illusion, honey, of a nice illusion. Ain't no reason why you hoes ought to see y'all child. Why y'all children got skin tight dresses on and they don't even have a skin? They, they, they even summer body ready. The whole winter on went by. These children ain't did no cardio or nothing. Then that prom, honey, with these figures showing dresses on, ain't got not one figure. Huh? Everything. I don't know how you hoes figure. And I'm not going to tell your child look cute, honey. I'm going to unfollow you. Because I was going to tell somebody, I saw their son, honey. His hair sticking up top of his head. He going to prom. How are you going to send your son to a formal event? A formal event and his hair sticking up top of his head, honey. This new meaning to ghetto is something different, honey, than, than I grew up in. I didn't grow up in this new meaning of ghetto. It used to be okay to be ghetto. Now it's not, honey. It ought to be abomination to be that ghetto and cheap. Honey, children, your son ain't got a decent pair of shoes. No, honey. That don't make no sense, honey. Your children can't even put a pair of socks on with their shoes because the shoes fit too tight up on the feet because it's that poly and Elster material. Huh? Honey, I don't give a damn what I look like, honey. One thing by the honey, when it's time for prom, honey, you better know, honey, my child going to push through. Hmm. A lot of you hoes shouldn't look like Michael Jackson. Shouldn't look like something, honey. You hoes, I don't know, you hoes, you hoes, children, you hoes, sons looking like Michael Blackson, honey. Yeah, honey, look a mess. And it don't make no sense. And that's a reflection on poor parenting. And that's why you hoes be talking about this stuff. People, 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 these people, these people ain't no good parents. Because good parents don't do no stuff like that, honey. My child got a little extra weight on her. 
honey. Oh, prom in six months. Prom in six months, honey. You want me to call body by brand? Huh? Yeah, honey. Let me call body by brand, honey. Get in that cardio, honey. Do that weight lifting, honey. This is a once in a lifetime thing. You want to go to prom once in your lifetime. These pictures you take on this special day, honey, going to be with your grandkids and your great grand and your children, everything else. See about you. You know. Honey, let me get Charlene here on this phone, honey. See what Charlene can do by the dress. Honey, you know, honey, you built like your uncle, huh? What you say? Yeah, honey, you built like your great uncle Simon, honey. Let me get you a dress, honey, that come out, something like that, at the bottom. That even you out, honey. You got them big old broad shoulders like a football linebacker, honey. Let me get you a corset dress. The, something that complements your figure. You ain't got to have the best figure, honey, to look the good and the best in the room, honey. Ice Auntie Storm, honey. You ain't got to have the best, honey, the best figure, honey, to look like the best part up in that room. Just get something that compliments yourself. You look like a boiled egg, honey. Get you a dress that, 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 that go with you like an egg carton, honey. Something that look good on you. You don't be shaped built like that, honey. You most children built like some buffaloes. And they got a dress on like they built like a like they built like a Jessica Rabbit. No, honey, you don't do no stuff like that. That's poor parent and that's lying. You ought not see your child that looking like that, honey. Children, uh uh, honey. You old should all them children all look like Cinderella. But your hoes won't do it because you're too cheap. Go up there and you could have took, honey, it don't take much money. It don't take much time to save up a thousand dollars. What's a thousand dollars, honey? Once in a lifetime stuff for your child. You know, experiences for your child. No, honey, you could have put, honey, you could have put two hundred dollar here, three hundred dollar here, honey, four hundred dollar here, fifty dollars here, to make sure your child have a nice, wholesome, good gown. You post children wearing dresses. You don't wear no dress to no farm event. You have to wear a gown. You whole shirts ain't even got on gowns. They got on dresses. Why the hell your child got on a bridesmaid dress for prom? No, honey, y'all sure I look like that Met Gallup. Don't worry about it, honey. Don't even worry about it, honey, because you owe, honey, you owe be mad at Stomach. Don't be mad at Stomach, honey. Yeah, honey, be mad at you. And your sons, honey, look like Western Snipes up here got me glowing the dog tuxedos, all this stuff. Custom this and custom that. It ain't going nowhere, honey, but in custody. Six months from now, be right in custody. Why are you part of this custom stuff? That's ghetto too. No class, no nothing. You hoes is uh-uh, honey. I don't know what to tell you, honey. One thing about me, honey, I, it wouldn't be me. You hear me? Get, take these, these young men to the bridal store, honey. Get them a tuxedo. Why the hell you got your son on a suit? Is he going to a job interview, honey? Because he ain't going to work. I'm telling you, I can tell by the ankles. I can tell by your child ankles. He ain't never even played football in his life. Why you most children so scrawny and skinny? You most children ain't never played pot water. No. And they look it. That don't make no sense, honey. All they do is smoke marijuana. And go to prom, honey. No matter how much lotion you put on them motherfucking ankles, honey. Them children is ashy. And they look every fucking bit of it. You ought to have took himself right there to the, uh, to the bridal store and got him a tuxedo. Huh? And why you hoes' is prom date, children's prom dates ain't matching what they got on? You hoes don't know how to coordinate. You don't know how to pick up the phone and call your son's date and see what color she wearing or something like that. No, because you hoes are some last minute bitches. That's why you couldn't match. Honey, I see children standing next to boys. Ain't nobody matching nothing. Because you probably bought that bought the prom outfit last week. Something like that. No, honey. That stuff don't make no sense. And I'm telling you right now, that stuff is beyond. That stuff don't got nothing to do with being ghetto. That stuff poverty. And that don't make no sense, honey. You, 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 first of all, your child old enough to go to prom, they are not being poverty. Because it don't take nothing to be 15 years old to get you a job at, at, up there at the McDonald's. Your mama couldn't afford to get you a gown and you ain't got no job. Something wrong with you. You're 15 years old, you ought to have a job. Ain't no, ain't no person, ain't a little boy or young lady, 15 years old, ought not have no job. You know you living in poverty. You know six months for prom, you know that you ain't got your stock. It's time for you to get you a job. You should have better had a job. Why you ain't got no job, young, mo young woman and young man? 15 years old, knowing that you don't have everything you need. Because if you had everything you need, it wouldn't look like that. Huh? You could have went there and got your job at Mike Donald's, honey. And when it, when it paid you, what, $250 for a nutritionist to get that weight up off you. Huh? It ain't, don't tell me nothing about no plus size. These ain't no plus size. They just fat. It's a difference, honey. You know how the placement of the of the obesity be placed at to know the difference. No, honey, these people not no plus size, honey. They big and big. Big, big and bigger. 
And then when you say something to the parents by the on, they be bitter, bitter, and biggest of them all. No, your child ought not be that big. And I can understand, honey. Sprinkle, sprinkle, very, very particular few. Very particular few, honey. Maybe one. It ought not be no 10, 12, and 15 plus size children at no prom. No young ladies. No, honey. That don't make no sense, honey. Somebody lying. It ought to be maybe one plus size child out of the whole uh, senior class. It ought to just be one, honey. Because that's it be that one or people be born like that. One, one to the few and a million. Once in a million lifetimes, stuff like that. But everybody in there, honey, wear a size 12 in dresses. That don't make no sense. That's too big. No wonder, honey, all these people getting, getting mad and stuff. They got to go get, get their wet dress from Sheen. Because you old as children's, honey, that took all the big old gowns. People 50 years old trying to get married can't even get no dress. Charlene booked up and stuff like that. Can't get no dress because you old as children's got them all. That don't make no sense, honey. You old as children's too big. And it's making them look old in the face, honey. I don't, I don't do that stuff. I don't, I don't look at that stuff and see. Honey, you old as children make up cracking at the lips and everything else. At the smile lines. You old as children, 17 years old. Got smile lines, honey, and crow feet. Huh? No. That don't make no sense, honey. Children lazy, too. You ain't this Jay fault, too. Because ain't no way, honey, I'm going to be 15 years old and don't have no job. You hear me? And, and need stuff. That don't make no sense. Only thing you old children look halfway decent in, honey, is the graduation picture, honey. And that's for the boys, not the girls. I haven't seen them either. Honey, that's on y'all. Yeah, no. One thing about Storm Honey, when they come down these kids, honey, I'ma spend a monies. I spend I will spend good monies. But you the same ones, honey. Don't play about your kids. Don't want nobody to say nothing about them. You love them so much and stuff like that. You don't want nobody to talk about them. But look how you treat them. Look how you present them to the world. A mess. They don't make no sense, honey. Next class, honey. Next graduation, D. Kids, how to go to see you this year, honey? Next for graduate next year, go to prom next year, honey. Get yourself together before it's time to go to that prom. Get yourself together, honey. Go up there, get you go up there to the SA Hall Elementary School. That every school, every elementary school got a trike around it. Do you thirty minutes a day, honey, on that trike? Get that stuff together. You ain't gotta be skinny, honey. You ain't gotta be petite, but you gotta look good in your stuffs. If you don't look good in your stuff, it's because something you're not doing. You're not in shape. You could be thick in shape. You could be you, honey. You could be fat in shape. You could be all this kind of stuff, but you will know if it suits you, honey. Depending on how it look in a dress, you know something like that. Do something, honey, because it looks a mess. And I'm sorry, honey. Auntie was going. Auntie got to tell you, cause in all my years of living, I never seen no problem look horrible as it's looking this year. This is the most horrible prom I ever seen in my life. Mm-mm, honey. You, your parents can't get you a nice gown. A nice gown, honey. Nice, nice quality gown. Get your job. Honey. Stuff like that. You yeah, know, honey. You don't your parents can't afford you a personal trainer, honey. Go, go, go right there to Walmart, honey. Get one of them plastic suits. You hear me? One of them pla it's a jogging suit. It's all made of plastic, honey. Got the top and the bottom. Honey, put that, put that, put you on something underneath, honey, like a spandex or something. Put that plastic suit on, honey, and maybe put you a little, a big size sweatsuit over or not, honey. Either way, you're proper. And go right up there, get you, go right there to a track at an elementary school. Martin Luther King Elementary School got one too, honey, and walked that one too. You can go right there to the Reball High School, honey. Go to Rains High School, honey. Go to, um, I don't know, honey. Go to any school you want to and do all kinds, of, honey, and just walk the track, honey. At least 30 minutes a day. Drink you some water, honey. Eat you some baked fish or baked chicken, honey, for six months before prom. It's no way you old children skin all crinkle it up. They ain't even had a facial or nothing else. You old just slapping on Mary Kay on these kids, honey, and stuff like that and sending them on about their way. It's a shame. Nah, it's a shame, honey. So, honey, next year class come up. This class right here, honey, they, they, honey, no, I don't nobody look good, honey. I ain't seen nobody yet. And you folks' mamas is the ones who supposed to be into fashion, stuff like that, into stuffs. No, honey. No, honey. Mess. Look, a pickle. So, next year, honey, prom, 
Holly, get this stuff together. You hear me? Go get your makeup done by touch by tie. You know, stuff like that. Go do your stuff ahead of time, honey. Get your diet, you know. Stop smoking that marijuana. Stuff like that. And and yeah, honey, stop doing all that stuff. And that's it. And to the person talking about, because sometimes these kids have baby fat. I'm, I'm thinking she's talking about they don't have babies. Because they look at I said, okay, well, let's understand. A person just had a baby. I could see why a person looked like that. You know, these children's bodies look like they had kids. A child should not look like they had a kid by the body. These kids, you know how child people, young children, young women ought to be tight, good body stuff, youthful body, tight and in shape, stuff like that. These women, these children, 15 years old, bodies looser than mine's at 31. Your body ought not be that loose, honey. It ought to be tight and firm like a child. You know, women say, person have baby fat. So I'm thinking these children having babies because they look like they had babies. And then she say, and then she say, honey, no, it ain't no, had no baby. It's the fat. No, I ain't no such word. Stuff like that. Huh? Yeah, honey. So I don't know. I don't know, honey. But I got to go because I want to come tell you the truth, honey. I don't give a damn what you say, honey. I'm 31 years old, honey. First time I ever had a cosmetic enhancement, honey, I was 30 years old. These children 15 years old, honey, and need stuff done today. You hear me? One thing about it, honey, it's something, it's something called checks and balances, honey. Stuff called touch-ups and stay in shape, honey. I, honey, I ain't had a sur the first surgery I ever had, honey, I was 30 years old, honey. Because I'm going to stay tight and stay right, honey. This stuff going to stay looking good. You hear me? Because it's something that's called checkup, honey. And I had my children, honey. I had my 20s and teenage years, honey. And I had my college days, honey. You hear me? My best years are, honey, most of my best years, honey, are behind me, honey. You old children, honey, ain't got nothing to look forward to because they already broke down, bit down big, and scratched out wide at 15 years old. And they not BBWs, honey. They're not BBWs. It'd be one thing if these, these women was plus size. Because, honey, I know I know some plus size bad girls, honey. I, honey, I went to school with one, honey, Shelby Morrell. What's one, honey? And like I said, the one. I ain't going to school with no other plus size bad girl, no other BBW. It was Shelby Morrell, honey, I went to school with, honey. Years and years and years and years, honey. From down here, honey, from knee high to a grasshopper all the way up to graduation, honey. It was one BBW, honey, in our class. And it was Shelby. You hold it's children, it's not Shelby, honey. You hold children, it's shabby. Honey, and spike it and why? And I don't give a damn what you say, honey, because let me tell you something, honey. Check the throwback pics, bitch. I've been that bitch. You hear me? And when you get, honey, when you get to be 30, honey, 31, honey, and when you already in shape, honey, you can go get your touch ups. And that's what Auntie did, honey. Auntie had to be touched up, honey. That's all, honey. But you hoes gonna have to be touched by an angel. And that's why you hoes mad. And that's why you hoes children look saggy at. 15 and 17, 18 years old, honey. And you host children is going to prom in some Cadillacs, and I wasn't going to say it, honey. You host children ain't even got no Range Rovers or nothing else to go to, go to grad. What is it? To go to graduate. What is that, honey? Prom in, honey. You host children catching lifts to prom because you hoes ain't got a car in the first. Honey, let me tell you something, honey. You hoes sitting up here, honey, typing on this keyboard looking like some grown ass cocker spaniels. But, honey, you hoes can't conjure up nothing, honey, the indigratory or insane to say about starving. Because one thing about it, two things for a motherfucking fight, bitch. Honey, honey, bitch, I been on. Fendi Prince on, bitch. Pull them motherfucking books. Pull every year book ever, I was ever in school, honey. Let me tell you something. I always back to junior high school, honey. Eighth grade, honey. Pikes in middle school, honey. Miss Cute. Senior Sopranos, that's me, honey. Okay, honey, high school, honey. All the way homecoming, honey. Right, we about senior high school, Mrs. Freshman. That's me, honey. Honey, check your newspaper editorials, honey. Tip, huh, what is it, honey? Tip run up, Miss, Miss, what, what is it, Miss Preteen Jacksonville. Here she go. Don't play with me, honey. I ain't never been, never, honey. Ain't nothing ever been by me bad, badly built, shaped, round up, honey. I always been a small girl, honey, petite girl, honey, petite frame, honey. Stuff like that. Honey, Storm ain't never been bent up, pressed up, honey, looking like you hoes as children, honey. Always, honey, always been together, put together, honey. Baby, honey, check the throwback pics, bitch. I've been that bitch. You hear me? And let me tell you something, honey, I ain't gonna continue to be that bitch, honey. You hold children, like I said, like I said, honey, I'm 31 years old, honey. And you hold children, it's 15, honey, and they couldn't, and, they, and that's a damn shame. 
Yeah, man. You whole children could, could fit, can't even fit in my clothes. They big. And they not BBW. They not plus size, honey. Yeah, man. Children so big, honey, they, they themselves plus one. And they don't have dates to prom. Because every fella I seen standing next to you big ass, you girls' big ass children didn't match what they had on. See, back when I was back when I was in school, honey, we had what you call dates. Yeah, man. We had something called limousines and stuff like that. You whole children don't even got the cachets or anybody bringing them no cachet, nothing like that to put on. Because they can't fit them. Yeah, man. Honey, we had stuff called, honey. Yeah, honey, that's what we had, honey. Because let me tell you something, honey. When I was in school, honey, I was a part of a lot of organization. Uh-huh. In junior high school, honey, I was on what you call the dance squad, honey. We had, honey, it was me and honey, uh, honey, me and the girls, honey. Bad girls, I always been a bad girl, honey. Honey, always been a girl in the mix, honey. So Auntie Storm ain't never been no peon, honey. Auntie Storm ain't never been no pushover, honey. I always been that girl. You all better research. I don't think you all be trying to come up with, honey, what you all want to make make sense, honey. I always been that girl. You hear me? Honey, even in junior high school, honey, we dance. I was on a dance squad, honey. Honey, me and the girls, honey, sat like this, honey, on court side. We were the girls. I was always the girls. Let's keep it clear, honey. Starter was always the girls, honey. Even in college, honey, you better ask, honey, go ask about me, honey. Go to Daytona, honey. Give anybody my name, honey. They'll let you know, honey. You hear me? In college, honey, they called me Holly. It was short for Hollywood. Everywhere I went, honey, I've always been that girl. Let's be clear, honey. You folks don't know because you folks don't know. Yeah, honey, and, and, been, and had a job at 15. Ask, ask about me, honey. Honey, because, honey, one thing about styling. But in the whole, like I said, you old children look a mess, and you old is mad. And I would be mad too, honey, because, my honey, I got one daughter, honey, and she far away from prom. But my daughter just went to Easter, honey, and her Easter dress, honey, is doing running circles while you old children's prom dress. That Easter dress my daughter had on, honey, that's a thousand dollar dress, honey. Auntie Stormy don't play, honey. And I ain't need six months to get it done, honey. I went and got it in a weekend. I don't play that one down there, honey. That one named Cakey, honey. She only get the best of the best, honey. Honey, check the throwback back pic. She's been that girl. One thing about it, my daughter used to dress running circles around you old children's prom dresses, honey. My daughter got, my honey, I went and bought my daughter evening gowns, honey, to go to dinner. Yeah, man. My daughter evening gowns, three hundred something dollar evening gowns, honey. And you hoes, like I said, honey, you hoes children look like some bridesmaids, huh? You hoes children got on the maid dresses, honey. Hey, maid. And you hoes children shake like they made and dead. And honey, and not the BBL. Tell them hoes, Chuck. Tell them, woo, woo, woo. tell them, Chuck. Tell them what them hoes look like, honey. Yeah, honey. Yes, honey. Get down. And the dress don't even come long enough. Dress stop at they anchor. You hold children dresses is too small. If it's a if it's a floor size guy, if it's a floor length gown, and the floor length gown is coming up to you hold the top of you hold the children's foot, that's because you hold even know the size your children's wear in dresses and gowns. The gown's too small, honey. I saw one child, honey, the seam of the dress come around the waist, honey, coming way up here up under the breast. That's not supposed to be like that, honey. That seam supposed to be down here by the belly button, honey. That's why you hold this four-length dresses or four-length supposed to be gowns. It's coming up to be ankle length. Because you hoes don't know nothing about class and elegance because you hoes is cheap. No, if you hoes would have went up to the proper... Mom, mom, mom. Excuse me, honey. Mom. What is it? Um, something, um, some kids not going to I looked through the people and... My friends. Can I tell them that I can't cry? You can go outside. Oh, that's fine, honey. I do got one. Yeah, honey. Because you're too cheap to go to the stores. Where are you going at to get them dresses? You always making the choices yourself, and you never had no problem with that yourself because you always stopped going to school in the ninth grade. Yeah, honey. Take them kids up there to the to the stores where they have seamstress. So they can measure. All you hoes do is take your children up there to foot lock and put their foot in that and, and put their foot in that metal thing to get their foot size. No, honey. Take them children up there to, to get they get their bra size done. You hoes' children's boobs is can throw across the shoulder at 12 years old. You hoes children ain't even got the proper underclothes on them gowns. Ain't no way your child, just because the gown got the back out, don't mean your child ain't supposed to have no bra on. Them children need bras on. But you don't know that. You old children's titties just sagging and separated, honey, and laying down flat. Huh? Stuff like that. Get them children fit for a good bra. Take them children to a seamstress next year, honey. For those of you whose children's graduating up this time, get them a personal trainer. Something like that. 
and take them children to a seamstress, honey, get their measurements done to know how long they need, their dresses need to be, huh? and how wide their dress need to be, and how and how much shoulder space they need, and shoulder pads. Yo, you know your child have broad shoulders, honey? Ask the seamstress, seamstress ways to get them broad shoulders to soften up, because there's ways around that stuff. But when you try to avoid going to the appropriate places to get get the stuff done, you mess, you don't, you don't get the, you don't get the, the things that fit correctly. Your child's shoulders way up here, honey. Don't get them no dress or nothing that got shoulder pads in it, honey. You want to get them something, honey, that cover that stuff up. But anywho, honey, I got to go, honey. Yeah, honey, and it's go. And I'm a judge. Let me tell you something. I'm a judge until the day I die, honey. And I don't give a fuck about you or them at all. Because, honey, one thing about it, if nobody judges you, honey, nobody critiques you, honey, and tell you how something ought to be done, then how you know how it ought to be done? That's you hold this problem now, honey. You can't take nothing constructive, especially not criticism, honey. You owe nothing but some construction worker, hard hat wearing bitches. And that's what you owe to, honey. Live deep off in them trenches, honey, and drive on them bumpy roads. Somebody say something to you, try to give you some advice on how to get something done, you always get highly offended. But one thing about me, honey, Storm ain't highly upset or highly affected by none of your hoes. Because if you knew better, you'll fucking do better. Start with your generation and start with your children in the house. Because one thing about it, honey, if I don't know how to do nothing else, honey, I know how to put on an elegant gown. And my child do too at 10 years old. And another thing I know how to do, honey, is keep this body right and tight, honey. Keep this stuff good. You hear me? I'm going to keep this stuff warming up and good, honey. Because one thing about these children, these boys, these guys, and these men that's coming up in their 20s and stuff, they ain't going to be able to do nothing with you hoes' daughters. Because you hoes' daughters like they look like train wrecks, honey. They are 11 size shoe, honey, and are 18 size pants at 12 years old. So ain't no, honey, ain't no hope for them either. Anyways. Yeah, honey, and I said it, and I said it again, and I said it to your face, and slap you in it too. Cause one thing about it, honey, you won't whoosh me up, honey. You can't whoosh me up. Say what you wanna say, honey, but honey, if you wanna see, honey, check the throwback pics, honey. I've been that bitch, and been a bitch that'll kick on you, whoop on you, hoes his ass, and your children ass too, honey. Stop like that. I don't give a damn what you say, honey. You always need to do better by your kids. If you love them so much, you want nobody to talk about them, do better by them. And if you don't know, now you know. Because sometimes you got to tell people, because sometimes people really don't know. And evidently, a lot of you hoes don't. And for the ones that do know, they still won't tell you. They won't talk about you in public, honey. But they be right there, honey, in their house laughing at you hoes as children. And it be, right, it, be, it be their own grandmoms and their own aunties and their own cousins. You see what... You seen what lover, you hold name your children stuff like, what you say, an angel, my angel, and, and looking like my, I don't know, looking like my mammy at 12 and 15 and 17 years old, like a mammy. Ten is big and wobbly and psychic and flat, honey. Arms flapping like, flapping like this, honey. Legs rubbing together, honey. Waist is wide, right here, honey, for no good reason. No good reason, honey. Children be uh children be die boy lie diabetic kind of high sugar diabetes stuff like that for no good reason, cause you always want to eat stuffing and macaroni and cheese and, and Sunday dinners every Sunday cause you think that stuff like that make you a good mother and all it do honey is make you honey make your children big for no reason, and they go in there and lay down. Stop doing that stuff. Show your children how to keep themselves in shape by keeping yourselves in shape. But then you all want to jump on the, want to hop and lay down on the table. And you all, those of you hoes who don't have good foundations, you are no bitch who don't have a good foundation. Because no matter how many times you lay up on the table, you ain't going to get up looking like Auntie Stormy. No, honey, you got to have a good foundation to do this stuff like this, honey. Yeah, honey. No, honey, getting a surgery ain't going to make you no bad girl. That don't make you no bad girl, honey. You got to be one, honey. Yeah, honey. And you hoes is mad because it pertain to you. And oh, well, honey. Same place, same time, honey. When I got something to say, I'm going to say it. Because one thing about me, honey, I walk it like I motherfucking talk it. And if is there anything that needs to be addressed, honey, you would have already said it, honey. If there is anything to be changed, updated, honey, you better believe, honey, it's, it, it done got done. You hear me? Yeah, honey, I don't bite my tongue, honey, at all. Not for you hoes, not no day, honey. You hoes don't make me mad, honey. You hoes don't make me sad, and you don't make me nothing but some money. As long as you here, honey, I get paid. And one thing about it, honey, I'm making fair use of my of my of, the, of honey of my contributions, honey, or honey my collections, honey. At least I tell you stuff that's true. At least I tell you stuff that you could do something with, honey. Take it and apply it, honey. 
and you will see, honey, you know, stuff like that. You'll see how it works in your life. Honey, because either way, honey, whether you're here or not, honey, it's time to get paid. You hear me? Yeah, honey. And you want to get, I don't know, honey. You want I don't know what you ought to do. But I told you what I saw. And you need to stop y'all sons from smoking that marijuana at teenage years old. Because it's starting to look, they starting to look like uncles, honey, at 17 years old. Because they're marijuana. They can barely open their eyes. Honey, they look so lazy and so fatigued. At 17 years old. So, so fatigued and so petite for a man. Men ought to have so much more body mass and stamina on them. Something happened, honey, on the way to prom. Okay, nothing they can do to protect nobody. You hear me? No, honey. And I'm not impressed. You old children look a mess. Yeah, hon. And if I see a child that don't look a mess, honey, I'll be sure to let them know. But, hon, I done seen dozens and dozens and dozens of you old little girls. And I'm telling you right now, them, them, uh, them, uh, got tote pistol home niggas on y'all street ain't gonna want your children, honey. So you ain't even got to worry about telling y'all childs not to mess with the boys with the dreadlocks because the boys with dreadlocks ain't going to want y'all childs. Them, oh, them children is too out of shape, honey. Them girls is too out of shape. That don't make no sense. And that's the epiphany. That's what happens. If the people out there, that's what happens. Two, one or two things happens in them ghettos, okay? Either they're going to have a gat tote pistol holding them for a son or they're going to have a, a honey, a child, a daughter, honey, that's just big for no reason. Ain't born BBW or nothing like that. Because they feet too big to be DBWs. One thing about BBW, they don't have big feet. I never, if you think about it, honey, you've never seen a BBW with no 11 size shoe. You got a 11 size shoe, honey, you is, you big for no fucking reason. You ought to be athletic. God gave you them big old feet so you could do stuff with them. And you round here eating stuffings and stuff and laying down go to sleep. No, honey, I ain't never in my life. Somebody tell me some stuff. I ain't never in my life seen no BBW with no lab size shoe. They don't come like that, honey. BBW have very particular few. Very particular few BBW might have a size 8 shoe. Maybe 8 and a half. Very particular, particular, particular. And that's a big shoe for a BBW. BBW don't have no big old feet like that. You hoes children got big feet and big hands. And that's how you know they not BBW. Oh, hot, excuse me. That's how you know they not BBW. BBW's honey, they faces don't look big and stuff. You old children, honey, got three chins. That's not BBW stuff. You see a BBW, honey, they put that, that's why BBW, a lot of times, honey, they, they, they take selfie pictures. You know, cause BBW face, honey, be thin and trim and look, look, you wouldn't even know they were BBW, honey, until you see a picture of them some, some, on somebody else's page, something like that. Honey, BBW don't have all that um, three and five and seven chins. They don't have that stuff. You girls is big. And you need to stop that stuff. BBW, hon, they carry their weight on their body, hon. Breasts and stuff like that. You know, they stuff be proportion stuff. Weight on their body, hon. You old children have weight on their eyebrows, hon. And they frown lines and they smile lines. Cheeks are all big like this, hon. Looking like some stuffed mouth squirrels. No, that's not BBW, hon. Stop me when I'm lying. Hon, you know a BBW. Because they got all them selfies, stuff like that. Do you see them, honey? They have their little braids, stuff, honey, come on down, and they be fine and pretty, especially by the face. No, honey, you old children ain't pretty nowhere. No, honey, because you can't tell how they look because too much stuff, too much big stuff. No, honey, that's the difference. So you ain't going to tell me no lie, honey. I know BBW when I see a BBW. Ain't nothing wrong with BBW, honey. Very nice stuff. And one thing about them BBWs, honey, they know how to put their stuff on look good. Honey, BBW coming at prom this year, honey, in the school in Jacksonville. BBW walk in going to be the best looking thing. And it ain't hard to do anyway, honey, because I'm going to tell you right now, honey, being thin don't make you it don't make you trend, honey. You got to be that girl. You hear me? I know, honey, I, honey, I'm telling you right now, them girls that's truly, truly thick girls, honey, they wear it elegantly. Yeah, honey. Because it's my house. It doesn't matter. It's so loud. Honey. Because I'm passionate about this stuff. Don't, care, it's so loud. don't say that stuff to me. Get a wooga. Because don't say that stuff. Oh, yeah, honey. Too loud. Okay, I'll work on you that like, stuff. Go like two inches down or two notches. I have to think about this stuff. I go down two octums. No, two notches. Oh, two notches. Mm -hmm. Okay, honey. Boo, no notches. <laughs> yeah, honey. That's what I know. 
Don't be dumb. Don't be wearing that stuff. They don't know, huh? They will stop complimenting them very nice stuff. Huh? Yeah, honey. And so that's how that stuff go, honey. Take it how you want to take it, honey. Feel how you want to feel, honey. But one thing about it, two things for a motherfucker show, honey. Stop me, honey. I won't be going to no prom, honey, but I'll be going to a nice, good graduation, honey. And I won't be wearing nothing that don't fit me properly, honey. Even I know how to put on a nice gown. Honey, I go put on my little nice gown, honey. If I was going somewhere like prom or something, honey, I like I'm going to the Met Gala. Huh? You all look like you all's children like they going to the honey, going to the what they going to the wrestling match, something like that. Ah, uh, these are kids you talk about, honey. I don't give a damn when I talk about you too. Yeah, honey, cause if honey, let me tell you something, honey, and I might be the only one to tell you, honey, but ain't the only the rest of the people laughing. At least I'm trying to tell you, hoes. Honey, stop, Auntie Stom is just trying to tell you to help you, honey. If you always got a problem with being helped, it's because you always is the hindrance to yourself. You always always talking about this, the white man and this man and that man and oppression, but you always be stumped down mad and getting depression when somebody trying to give you over some pointers on what to do. You always don't want to know what to do. You want to keep doing that stuff because you don't want to spend the money. But you always want to spend the block, come on, people, stop and say stop. But, honey, spend the money, okay? Spend the money. You, you don't have a mind to send your child off the prime looking decent? Don't send them. Or send them and don't post them. Because we don't want to see that stuff. That stuff don't look good. Nobody ain't about to lie to you. Nobody ain't about to do that stuff but your cousin them. I ain't doing that stuff, honey. If Auntie Starman don't say that stuff look good, because it don't. If Auntie Starman say that stuff look good, because it really, really do. Very few particular, very few particular people, honey, probably look good. And I'm still going to be scrolling up and down, honey, so Auntie can see our kids. But honey, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop now. And I'm not gonna say nothing to no no kids and stuff like that. I won't say that under the post. But honey, why right here on my page, honey? I sure am. I'm gonna talk about it. And honey, up. you come back and share the me, video. Honey, and um, okay. leave a comment and um make sure you come back and subscribe to the channel, okay? Peace out.